I'm Dave from CMX Games, and in this video, you'll learn about ending the game and determining the winner in Copper Country. When the last Porok is removed from the industry track, the end game space is revealed. Resolve the current shift, and then end the game. Each player counts and reveals the total copper value of all the production cards in their copper pile. In this example, your total copper value is 26. This is your copper score. Then, players who have completed their company claim add 10 to their copper score. In this example, you have completed your company claim, your copper score is now 36. Then, starting with the player with the lowest copper score, each player counts and reveals their resource specialization score. The player, or players if there is a tie, with the highest resource specialization score add that number to their copper score. In this example, your resource specialization is explosives, and your resource specialization score would be 5. If 5 is the highest, or tied for the highest, among all resource specialization scores, you would add 5 to your copper score, making your total copper score 41. The player with the highest total copper score is the winner. In case of a tie, remove all cards with cemetery icons in their produced copper rows from all tied players' copper piles and recalculate their scores again. If players are still tied, remove all cards with unrest icons from the tied players' copper piles and recalculate their scores again. If, after both tiebreakers, those players are still tied, they remain tied. They exploited Copper Country and their workforces to equal profit. 